In this module, you will learn about reflection of light in plane mirrors. All of you can recognize an image when you see it. An image is the likeness of an object carried and formed by light. What you find in a plane mirror is your image. Light incident on an object is reflected back by the object. That reflected light incidents on the mirror and is reflected again. It is because of this reflection of light we see images. In the absence of light, you won't be able to see your image. In fact, the mirror cannot show you images of any object without light. You must have noticed that you can observe clouds in the sky in a still pond in daytime. But you can't really see the dark sky. You see only the bright moon and the stars in a still pond at night. When light is incident on any smooth, shiny surface like a mirror or a tin sheet, it reflects back. This is called reflection of light. The path along which light travels is called a ray of light. Basically, mirrors change the direction of light rays incident on them. Did you know? In ancient times, people mostly used pools of still water or water collected in a vessel as mirrors. The first man-made mirrors were in the form of a polished stone made by using obsidian, a naturally occurring volcanic glass. Neither shadows nor images can exist without light. But there are some distinct differences between shadows and images. For example, your shadow is always black, whereas your image is in color. Shadows change in length with the position of the light source. For example, your shadow changes in length with time as the position of the sun changes during a day. Your shadow will be longest at dawn or early morning and at dusk or early evening, whereas it will be shortest at noon. On the other hand, the image in a plane mirror doesn't change in size at all. It is always of the same size as that of the object. Let's now examine the conditions for the formation of a shadow. We know that a shadow is formed when an opaque object blocks the path of light rays. Whereas an image is formed when light rays from an object are reflected by a smooth shiny surface such as a mirror. Shadows cannot be seen without screens. The same is not true for a mirror image. An image in a mirror can be seen without a screen. Both shadows and images have their uses. You look at your image in the mirror every time you are getting ready to go out. And the shadow cast by your umbrella keeps you cool on a hot sunny day. You may remember that images are formed in mirrors as well as in cameras. However, the images formed in a camera, such as the pinhole camera, are different from those formed in a mirror. Here is the image of a tree formed in a pinhole camera. As you can see, 
the image of the tree is inverted in the pinhole camera. Whereas in a mirror, the image is erect. There are some other differences between the images formed in a pinhole camera and in a mirror. The image in a pinhole camera is smaller in size than that of the object. Whereas the image formed in a plane mirror is of the same size as that of the object. The distance between the image and the pinhole is not the same as the distance between the pinhole and the object. Whereas the distance between the image and the plane mirror is the same as the distance between the mirror and the object. Did you know a periscope is an instrument for observation from a hidden position? This instrument is used in submarines to view objects on the surface above and works on the concept of reflection in plane mirrors. In this module, you learned about an image is the likeness of an object carried and formed by light. Reflecting of incident light is called reflection of light. The differences between a shadow and an image are A shadow is always a dark patch, whereas an image can be colored. It takes the color as that of the object. A shadow is formed by blocking the path of light rays by an opaque object, while an image is formed by reflection of light from an object. The length of a shadow changes with the position of the light source. However, the length of an image in a plane mirror is always the same as that of the object. A shadow can be seen only on a screen, whereas an image can be seen without a screen in the mirror itself. Yeah.